Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Keymaker Enhanced Edition with me, Frank and Don. We're actually going to go hop back into our territory real quick. I kind of wish that we owned a silver step. It would make it a lot easier. Uh, but I forgot that we had that event for Chemo, the Artisan. And that needs to be taken care of before the first of the next month, I believe. So we're going to hop back in real quick, just assign someone to that. And then get back to exploring. Alright, and he finished honor and duty. Plus three loyalty, plus three military. Plus six to loyalty. Alright, so we have Harem's uh, companion quest is up. Can't deal with that. It's only an opportunity anyway. I'll put you yeah, a bog mischief. We need to put somebody on that. I'm gonna put put him on it because he has a natural 80% chance. And that'll be taken care of. Alright, then we have to head back across the mountains to the unfinished clearing. We'll have to rest before we go in. Now I'm curious where this goes. Now it just takes us along this side of the river. There should be a crossing. Let's say, yeah, let's go up this way. We've been to Crooked Teeth already. Shoot. Don't really want to fight. We're all pretty tired and fatigued and exhausted. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. How about a hold for me? Because I don't want us to get poisoned. More strength fades. Alright, everybody, go get him. Repent. Alright, let's go ahead and rest up. Getting a little off track here, but you write and you write, Lindsay. But what's the point if you will be forgotten after you die? That's why I'm writing. So I won't be forgotten. My stories will belong to the ages. Yes, the ages. I won't accept anything less. I don't remember what I was saying, but I'm getting off track. I had a plan. And now I'm all over the place. Some Hydra eyes. There's a use for some recipe. I think it might be... Is it Monster Casserole? Which I think is one of Knock Knock's favorite foods. Use Companion has two or three. Uh favorite food types. I suddenly connects it. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, back down this way, I guess. I kind of hate moving through the mountains. I really want that... Is this the same exact spot as the other random encounter? Oh, there's just bandits. Your life Let's ebbs low. Quick. What a waste. There we go. <laughs> I forgot to buy rations. Son of a gun. I can still get them before time runs out. Because eventually uh, that barbarian camp won't be there anymore. I uh, should be able to buy rations from the 
merchant that's there. What troubles you? All right, just to be safe. I wrote it like I saw it. I'll remember what's in this area. In due time. This might be where the Etten. Actually, no, it's not Etten, is it? No, Etten has two heads. This thing has three arms, if it's what I'm thinking of. They still don't get along with giants, just like Edens don't, to my knowledge. I am never wrong. Alpha work from Dunsword Pack. Nope, a little moments. different. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Slow them all down. And then wreck them. My masterpiece. Punching dagger plus two, an enchanter's cape. Cape grants swear plus one bonus to enchantment schools spells difficulty checks. Is that what she uses? Adventures call to them. Yeah, she does use some enchantments. All right, we'll give her that then. I think next is the spider something. Spider layer. Yep. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yeah, we can rest. Jaythal and the rivers of blood. Jaythal and the broken hearts. No. She prefers ripping them out over breaking them. If you must mention me in your scribbles, would you care to replace my name? I've no wish to be associated with cheap novels. Oh snap. All the uh all the shade that's being thrown around between Jaythal and Lindsay in these banners. I'm surprised it's not her and uh I'm surprised it's not these two that are fighting in the final dungeon. You know what, everybody hold position real quick. Wretched things. Alright, go get him everybody. See that's something Jaythal is useful for. <laughs> Buying time so I can get a... Uh, you cannot stand Communal against me. Poison resist up. Or delay poison. Whatever it's called. Oh, 
your life ebbs low. Was not in vain. Baked spider legs. And a buckler. Arrow guard. Oh, that's right. We also get blade guards somewhere. In this arrow area. Uh, blade guard is the same thing, except for it's against uh, melee attacks. Plus four buckler grants us an additional plus three bonus to armor class against ranged attacks. So it's a... Gives you five, then plus... Uh, plus three, so it's up to a plus eight against ranged attacks. Which is really good. Really, really good. And then, oh yeah, baked spider legs. Where are you at? I wonder where it's at. But there is a, uh, there is a matching. It's twin is around here somewhere. I do what I must. In the Dunsward region. I'm gonna head this way, I'm gonna loop up and around, head towards the Render Pest Burial Ground. Alright. <laughs> Another random encounter. We've downed better ones. Yeah, no, we're about bandits. Another job well done. Nagar better be appreciative of all these darn bandits for or bandit corpses we're leaving behind. Whenever we find him. Oh, that's where you can cross the river at. Interesting. So this just loops up to that. Alright, Renner Pest Burial Ground. I don't remember what's here, either. A lot of the Dunsward region I don't remember super well. There's a couple areas that I remember, but uh, for the most part, letting the ink dry. just drawing a big old blink. You should be. This is going to hurt. Okay, I can't remember this. Uh, let's get used divine power, I guess. And for them, we need death ward. Where's it at? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's why I need Death Ward, so she doesn't uh, lose levels. Protection plus three, and Jester's Vest. Sombra is decorated with the small pieces of colorful fabric that dance before your eyes. Whenever the wearer of this colorful plus one padded armor casts his hideous laughter spell, its difficulty check is increased by two. The Falcard plus three. What does she currently have equipped? She has Vest of 100 Pockets. Let's reach Kostata. Never memorized that. So she doesn't use a lot of hideous laughter. Um, much less armor class as well. No, I, I'm going to keep it with the uh, best of 100 pockets because she's still getting her max dexterity bonus and everything to armor class. So I think this is the area you need to go to to get the last event for the uh, Sweet Teeth. Always ready. Or there's one more. There might be one more place. Uh, it's actually called like the. I don't remember what it's called. I'm sure it's not important. Adventures can wait. All right, I don't really. I want to go down to the barbarian camp again, uh, real quick. Sell stuff before I go to the uh, the city of Hollow Eyes. I'm a little concerned about the companion quests, especially Harem, since I'm on this side of the mountains, not a... Uh... Oops. But I am prioritizing things in the order you should prioritize them in. Plus three. Let's see, oh, he doesn't have any. That uh, that'd be nice to have on him. All right, and we will rest. All right, for negative level, what do, is it? Restoration. Let me quick save before I waste a potion. I don't actually remember how to, uh... No, it's not. I don't remember how to get rid of negative levels. 
I'm sure it tells me the things. It remove curse. Might be remove curse. Spells like restoration. Okay, yeah. The end draws near. Uh, he doesn't have restoration memorized. Okay. Let's see. Do I have a restoration scroll? Sure that I do. Just gotta find it. Thing and maybe not. Well, all I have to do is memorize uh, restoration and it should be okay. I'm not too worried about it. In due time. Alright, let's head towards the city of Hollow Eyes and I guess we can get it started, but not quite finish. Well, definitely not gonna finish it. It's a big area. A lot of uh a lot of nasty enemies about. You know, actually, before I forget, I need to buy rations. That is my priority. So I want to risk not having access to them later. Rations. So I have one. Uh, it's good by 12 or 11. Or 12. Sure. Uh, those will come in handy later. Normally, I'm not concerned about keeping rations on my person, but there is one dungeon in this game that you have to have rations for. Uh, they did add it so you can actually find rations in the dungeon. But I'd rather just be, uh, a little proactive instead of reactive. Alright, City of Hollow Eyes. It's a big area, so I'm not worried about burning all of my... What troubles you? My cooldowns. It's time to act! All right. Should be... There we go. Serves you right. Make sure she's not raging automatically again. She keeps doing that. All right, good job, everybody. Anything else? Ooh, Scroll of Ray's dead. That's a good find. Is there anything over here? Maybe it's not as big as I remember it being. Like, yeah, there's a big river that runs through it. Must. 
there a barbarian we can talk to? There we go, Hilla. A huge scar crosses the face of this sturdy, silver-haired woman. An eye patch hides her left eye, while the right shines with silver. She raises her bloody blade in salute. You came just in time. We owe you one. Uh, who are you? I'm Hilla the Tooth Grinder, from the Tiger Lord's tribe. This is my war party. We're here, uh, fighting things, as you can see. Are you an Asimar? What, don't I look like a Celestial? Haha. -ha. Yes, I'm an Asimar. No idea which of my grandmothers made it with a Celestial, but in my entire lineage, the blood only manifested in me. I'm sure that was the plan all along. It's a common custom to strengthen the bloodline with the blood of orcs or whatever powerful beings come in handy. My birth was deemed a good sign, and proof of the gods' blessing. But I call it bullcrap. The gods' blessing should be earned on the battlefield. Uh, what are you doing here? What do you care? We came here, so we obviously have business here. What about you? What are you doing here? Uh, Dugath sent me. What? Why? Does the old man think we can't handle it ourselves? Huh? Hilla looks around briefly, then back to you. Well, to be honest, you really did help us. How about helping with one more thing? Here's the deal. We came with one of the witches to look for some trash in the tomb. We set camp, and the sister took some of my people to the ruins around dawn. Never came back. Instead, the zombie cyclopes started ca uh, crawling out on us from all over the place. Fun day, huh? My group can't afford to be separated now. We only barely fought those things off. So how about this? You scout the place and look for our people. Find out if any of them are still alive, and I'll pay you in gold. Deal? Yeah, deal. Great. Alright. Gonna earn some money, looking for some... Barbarians. I see something. Caneberry Pie. I think that's the one that gives you regeneration, right? It won't tell me here. Yeah, I think that's the one that, uh... Gives you fast healing, or whatever it's called. Nobleman's Amusement. This bow is created by a royal gamekeeper to help the hunting nobles feel like competent hunters. This plus one longbow grants its water the effect of point blank shot and precise shot speed. Hmm, that's interesting. Just gives you gives you two feats. I'm off. What's that? Applause, please. Not worried about looting the cyclopes yet. There are enormous footprints in the dirt, which I guess would be more like mud right now. Repent. Taste my fuel. Oh, we made it to the other side of the river. I didn't even notice. Cool beans. Cool beans. Come on, chill out. State your desire. What for Gorum? All right, a lot of enemies here. <laughs> Oh, hang in there, Mary. How 
curious. Anything else? Rage Claw. Despite being almost indestructible, this longsword still bears numerous signs of heavy use. It's a plus two adamantine furious longsword. That might be handy to have on her, in all honesty. I'm there. Uh, just because of the adamantine effect, there's some golems that require adamantine to... Applause, please. Actually, I think the one golem I'm thinking of doesn't actually require adamantine. They hint that it requires adamantine. But then it doesn't. His poor soul's skull was crushed and the brain was removed. My skills are absolute. You cannot stand against me. Oh, that's a big trap. Everybody actually come back this way. You did what you're supposed to do. My gift to you. That was saved our back line. Share your will. Applause, please. Tashani Savitur. Tashani Savitur. Tashani Savitur. Tashani Savitur. Nothing back there. That's disappointing. Nothing but a trap. So I think this is the tomb that we're supposed to go inside of. In due time. Interesting. Anything else? Applause, please. All right, well, then I'm going to call it here. In the next episode, we will inspect this door and uh, continue exploring the city of Hollow Eyes. Let me check something real quick. Okay. Yeah, a huge stone slab. You know what? Yeah, a huge stone slab blocks the entrance to the tomb. The ancient stone surface is covered in worn inscriptions, barely visible beneath the moss. Cyclopes were fabulously rich. Why, instead of creating angels' beauty, would they waste it all building monumental ugliness like this? I examine the entrance. The crumbling ancient stone is densely covered with thick moss. Near the edge of the slab, some of the moss has been torn. Some unknown force must have moved it aside and then replaced it. Read the inscriptions on the door. You managed to read several phrases of the ancient Cyclopean language. Cruel and evil go into the blind darkness, while kind and merciful go into even deeper darkness. Impenetrable dark blackness. Darkness opens every door. Wise and stupid, lewd and ascetic. Or ascetic. Uh, there's not a single path in this world that will lead into ultimate darkness. Such wise, beautiful words. Ick, what a load of nonsense. I was hoping for a legend, or maybe a poem, or at least some sort of ancient recipe. Try to pry open the door. You examine the door closely, but you find no sign of any mechanism that would open the door. Try to break the door open. Chunks of moss fall from the slabs as you strike it. There doesn't seem to be any other effect. Swearing under her breath, Amiri continues hitting the door several more times. Once it's apparent that it isn't going to budge, she gives it an angry kick. Use Detect Magic. The door radiates a faint transmutation aura. Then speak the word Keb. The slab slides aside easily and noiselessly, making a crack wide enough for you to enter. <laughs> okay. Before you have a chance to take a single step, a voice calls out from inside the tomb. Wait. Do not enter. Prop the door or it will close behind you. Unwilling to tempt fate, you move a large stone to the entrance and prop the door open. We'll enter uh, next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.